Uh, with this, uh, I request uh, uh, Mr. Sachin Bhatia, Chief Growth Officer, Exotel, to share his uh, viewpoint how Exotel is helping government departments in terms of collaboration and digital solutions. Over to you, Mr. Sachin Bhatia. Huge round of applause for you. Respected bureaucrats, uh, members from the ministries, organizing team, and my dear friends. I thought I'll speak about uh, what we have done, but uh, listening to what has been said, I thought I'll just share two perspectives, two drishtikons, one of a citizen and second, a digital native uh, individual. And second is I want to share two agendas because I'm here the whole day. What can I help you with and what can I take from you? Those are the two things I want to share. I'm a, I'm a daily born uh, Guy went to IIT Guwahati, uh, passed out in year 2001. When I was in IIT, most people used to go to the US. And I uh, thought that why don't India sell products from India? Why doesn't India deliver great products? And that was a curiosity, or kira as I call it. And we thought that we'll stay in India, we'll try making a you know, world class product company. And if we fail, we would have learned. And if we would have succeeded, we would have set an example. That was the mission with which we started a company in 2002 in India, bootstrapped. And um, the first project that I presented in IIT Delhi was a project which was very similar to the Aadhaar project. And we thought that we could change how identification would be done in this country. And the responses we got made us extremely cynical that it is extremely hard to work with government. As, a, as an entrepreneur, as an individual, the same disappointment I had that why doesn't India do products, I started feeling cynical about government, that how can an individual like me, who is uh, who's a technology entrepreneur, can work with the government. And we were was, we was seeing state of affairs around us. We were seeing how taxation works. We were seeing how passport works. And I said that I think it is quite some time away. There is intent. But that is not the target market that I can address today. Um, a week back, my dad just informed me that uh, his tax return came automatically without any uh, interaction with anybody. And my cynicism has started reducing. Right? Uh, and this was, my, this was the exact word of my dad. He said, Pele check lene ke liye check dena hota tha. But without any interaction, I think we have come a really long way. And congratulations to folks who are involved. Uh, my economics professor in IIT used to say, and we used to, we were all this young blood, we used to say, sir, China is, it seems that China is really moving ahead. You know, what are we doing? And he said, such an, um, you know how elephants move? So I said, slowly, but can you stop them? You can't stop them. So India is like elephants. In a democracy, when something moves, it looks slow, but it's with the momentum that you can't stop the concept of inertia. So last 20, last 20 years of me coming out of college, being that cynical individual, to seeing what Bhim has done, what UPI has done, what ONDC is about to do uh, in the e-commerce space, uh, the kind of uh, initiatives that Aadhaar is able to enable now, it's just mind-boggling. And I think my cynicism has reduced and my hope has increased. And with that hope, we usually, we usually spend time in forums where we have D2C, we have B2C unicorns. Uh, last night I was sitting with Uber on how we can scale. But I'm sitting here with the hope that I think the time has come for entrepreneurs like us to come in and see that what challenges can be solved for the government. Um, so the two perspectives I wanted to bring, one is of that cynicism young guy, the angry young man. I think that angry young man has toned down. I'm getting old, that's one. I'm getting more patient as an entrepreneur. But more beautifully, I think you guys have created that confidence that we can now come and start engaging because there is intent, willingness, uh, and systems and processes in place to take it to the next level. So that's the first perspective I wanted to bring. The second thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, I've traveled to about 50 countries myself. I've been involved in, and mostly emerging geographies. 
countries in Africa, countries in Asia, Pacific, Middle East, and of course, uh, all parts of India. And the problem of emerging economies are very different from the problems of the West, and that I understand as an entrepreneur. Uh, what I bring on the table, and I'm here for the whole day, and I'll be sharing it in an afternoon session, Exotel, the company that we founded, and I'm the chief growth officer of that. We solve problems around engagement or communication. So any of your projects which require digital engagement on mediums like voice, uh, social media, somebody just mentioned it, uh, WhatsApp, uh, whether it's just notification or dissipating services through that or collecting data, those are the kind of challenges that we solve. So that is something that we know and uh, it'll be awesome if some of you have projects that we can discuss and I'm happy to share our experience learnings from what we have learned from companies like Uber, uh, Ola, uh, Meru, Mintra, Flipkart, how these people engage and whatever, whatever we have done with them, we'll see that how we can transpose it to the government side. Right? Uh, we have also worked with NPCI, we also worked with some of the COVID uh, information dissipation projects pro bono, just to make sure that everybody knows how technology works and I think it was the need of the hour. So that's the first agenda. If any of you have curiosity around engagement, that how can we engage with our citizens better, with our users better, uh, uh, we have a plethora of experience across 21 verticals on how this is done, including some of the work that we have done with governments in India and governments across the world. The second is, uh, now that that cynical guy is hopeful, I also want to learn from you guys that how do we engage with uh, the ministries and administrations better, right? Uh, it seems like a maze on how do we engage on a project. How I, I learned that example, it was a beautiful example. If some of you have read that book, Lean Startup, it's a beautiful book to read which talks about small experiments and as the experiments become successful, you can scale them. Somebody gave an example of a district level project which got to a state level project, right? So if, let's say we have an idea uh, and there's a ministry or a department who wants to experiment with an idea, how do we start a pilot? How do we engage with you, start a pilot and see whether it can scale or not, right? Uh, what are the avenues for us to uh, engage with the government apart from forums like this is something that I am keen on learning, right? So that, those are the two things I want to talk about. I think it'll be a, a day full of uh, learning for me and whatever I, I have learned, I'm happy to share it with all of you. Thank you so much. Thanks, uh, Sachin, uh, for sharing with us that uh, you know more are cynical about working with government and you're an entrepreneur. I'm also an entrepreneur. We're running this company. I can vouch for it that working with government has become a lot easier thanks to technology and innovation. And uh, as you have pointed out that uh, you gave you example of your father. Let's give example of how we can do KYC just using Aadhaar. You don't have to go to even banks and video KYC can be done. Ari Sharma sir was here in the morning. He talked about Aadhaar. That has been a game changer in terms of uh, hardly any of us go to bank uh, now, nowadays. That has been transformation India has seen last uh, 10, 12 years. Thank you so much.